This one a little bit before we get started, maybe get a little bit of the talky talk. Sure, yeah. Okay, so yeah. this one looks like it may match that uh, strat. Hmm? Yep, that's what it that yeah. the point. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're done. It's beautiful. It's got this, some nice weight to it. Yeah, this one I patinaed the brass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it looks so, 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 how old was that guitar? Uh, well, weirdly, all these guitars I had originally gotten all the parts together in 2019, and it took me. Uh, up until maybe about five or Over six here. months ago to get them all done. Okay. But by the time I finally got to that, one of the things being I was waiting for the, I had to get templates oh, this, this, to make these. This is a thick pick guard too. It's yeah, nice. that, I've been always looking for good pick guard material. And I, so, cause I make my pick guards myself. This would, you cannot match a Fender pick guard to this. Like you can put one on there that'll fit, but it's none of these holes are gonna line up with a Fender pick guard. None of that. Plus this is a, it's a cut profile and all that. Um, so yeah, that I got help from my friend Danny Goddard, who owns Jet Guitars. He helped Good me guy. with a lot of stuff, and he had a lot of praise to say about you when I went and visited him the other day. Love that guy. Yeah, man, he he's, yeah. he's all about Mr. Scotty Young. Shop shop guitars are the best, though. Shop shop. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's Danny's got a cool shop too. I'm he's sure. got an awesome shop. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, and um, this is another Callahan Bridge. And these, these pickups are Dominger Frontiersmen, which are his vintage set. Um, they got a lot of honk in them. I like them. I like them a lot. They're very cool. This so, is a beautiful uh, guitar. This is another one that may be on the chopping block for me again, to buy because I, I love this guitar. I did uh, want to mention, uh, so this is out of the same block of Flame Maple as the other necks. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the same wood. Um, again, another Swamp Ash body. But um, my friend John Shada is the one who does my raw blanks for my my uh guitar necks mm -hmm. so uh, he sends them to me and then i wind up doing the final shaping and the finishing and all everything on them and again so ebony fingerboard well uh, yeah and i love this one like the i love all three of these and i guess we we can't play the white telly because it's already been claimed by uh one of our amp guys so and it's beautiful too a little jelly that he got that one but that's okay no no hurt here so basically my favorite combination is ebony fingerboard on a maple neck with swamp ash body with dominger pickups. Also, what I didn't tell you is that all the capacitors that I use for the tone, um, they're all vintage. They're new old stock vintage. So they're somewhere between 1952 and 1969 as far as. So the old new stock or new old stock? New old stock, old new stock. <laughs> I actually played this one live the other day Hey, I don't know how to tune. Oh, there. And uh, so it was, t it was still tuned to open G when I picked it up, by the way. Oh, yeah, I honestly hadn't taken it. Obviously, I didn't want to sweat off. Yeah. <laughs> so I hadn't even so looked at talk, it. So have you talked, so you've talked about that guitar. Do you want to talk about it some more? Is that it? Have you said everything you want to say about it? Well, it's the same exact you know everything is the same as that uh, Stratocaster as all uh, the, the four guitars I made the two tellies and the two strats they were all swamp ash bodies the necks were from the same piece block of uh, flame maple the uh, fingerboards were from the same block of ebony so they're all from, they're all the same as far as that goes um, and uh, like I said everything Forney hardware uh, Cluson contemporary 19 to 1 tuners the vintage uh, capacitor, uh, Callahan Bridge, another Callahan Bridge, because uh, I'm trying to keep it to that vintage, that vintage vibe, fat neck, fat C neck. So ha have you made the perfect guitar yet? Well, he likes that Strat. No, no, I, I like this too. Though. He may like it, but have you made the perfect guitar yet? Um, I don't know. I do the when I pull out the other sides. I mean, that's more. Uh, that's which is completely opposite of this because they're shred guitars, so we go from fat necks to thin necks, um, which is based off of basically a Kramer and a Charvel. So basically, think of a 5150 body with a Charvel neck. Um, Charvels to me are always been my 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 happy place. So, so, but, so, so you still haven't answered the question, though. So that one, I guess, is the closest one to something perfect no, I didn't for ask me. You, 
I didn't ask you, have you made your best guitar? Because I know you've made, everyone's made their best guitar. The question is, have you made your perfect guitar? Well, I got the snake head. That one's perfect. Okay. That one's absolutely perfect. Okay. He won't sell it, though. Well, that's because it's perfect. Yeah. Well, why that was perfect that? for me. Why would he do that? Because I'll play it out you, and people will see it. If, if you had the perfect guitar, would you sell it to anybody? No. Exactly. There you go. Never. Thank you. 
great guitar. These pickups are amazing. These are killer Tele pickups. Mm. I like that the way it's shorter there. Wonder what? Why is that? Is that just old school? It's, uh, it's Callahan who does vintage stuff. Yeah, so. it's cool. I like it. Uh, I think. Is that, I think that is stainless steel. I don't remember if it is or not. To be honest. It's nice. But it is vintage. It's a vintage. Uh, it's a. It's a this one I got to play this one live like I said the other day and it's a anyways cool guitar next do you want to uh, since you I got want this heli out strat. you should give me like a, a killer duo deal on this <laughs> <laughs> well they match man you can't separate them they're and you're firstborn and uh, yeah. let's see what else is good they're beautiful man that thing plays really nice now that I got to sit here and get used to it. It's a little weird getting cold on. I was like, ah. Yeah. That fucking, it feels great, dude. Yep. Those pickups. Those pickups are bad. Really nice. Yeah. And to be able to really listen to them. Yeah. Because yeah. it was kind of like on the spot out there. And, you know, my aunt was messing up and I was plugging into the different inputs. So I was kind of stressed. Yeah. And then we, I instantly, so he brings me this killer guitar, right? I instantly take it to Open G because that's the set we're on. It's just like, I don't know. It was weird. So. But, uh, yeah. But it's, it, it did great. It was just... Uh, Dominger pickups. Dominger, yeah. And those, those, what are they called again? They had a cool name. Uh, the Frontiersman. Frontiersman. These are the Frontiersman. Frontiersman. Yeah. So if you ever got a, if you ever started getting a lot of orders, would you be able to fill them? Or? You'd have to <laughs> order from me like you're ordering from an artist. So you will get your guitar when you get your guitar, if I was going to do that. But what I want to do is just build guitars the way I want to build guitars. And if you okay. want one, you can buy one. That's, right, that's, so, that's what I'm working So towards. you're going to make your guitars the way you make your guitars. Yeah. If they want somebody else's guitars, they probably ought to go buy those. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's... Uh, it's, it's hard to do custom stuff because when you take on the the somebody wants something they they expect it in a certain amount of time and since i'm one guy and i'm very limited when it comes to to uh, resources you know it takes time it just yeah. takes time to deal with it you know and because of where i'm working at i'm dealing with all kinds of things i'm dealing with the elements outside i'm dealing with you know mm -hmm. whatever whatever arises i got to deal with before you i can get something your dog built parrot happy yes my dog parrot your dog parrot saki so, so I thought his name was Saki. So your dog is on your shoulder? Is that what the oh, name? Yeah. If I would, I would have brought him. He would have been great for this, but I, I can't I can't be doing this at the same time. Yeah, he would have oh, been fine. He's like, we have ours there, and I, I went in and locked the cats in the room because they freak out until they get to know you. Like It would take two days if you guys like yeah. staying together in that bedroom. Another day we'll put Saki on. We yeah. can meet Saki. Yeah. He's going, I thought I thought Scott's name was Saki because on his, his Facebook account, Saki Young. So Yeah, most people think it's sake. Is this sake? Right. For goodness um, sake, sake. For goodness Saki. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so, so these are Reaper, want... right? I like the two Reapers. The Reaper Black, yeah. And I like the Ghost, too. And the Ghost. The Ghost is my favorite. The Ghost, that was that a finish. That Ghost color now. That was a finish that had been in my brain since I started doing this, and that was oh, something man. that I absolutely I wanted it. to do. I like, love it. you know, everybody else looks at it and they think the Mary Kay or the... It's, it's cooler than America. It looks like bone on It does. Like, That's what's so badass. Bone, is I think it, bone when I think, and I love it. It's yeah. beautiful. And yeah. I wish we I wish we had the bone, our 
the ghost uh, telly just for this so you guys could see it. It's beautiful. Um, it's really beautiful.